It's time to forgive and move on. It's time to do better. Well, that's the message that Quando Rondo is sending anyways. See, Quando Rondo was supposed to be the main target. The main target of what the feds are now saying was a hit, a paid hit that was put out by Chicago drill rapper Lil Durk, who paid five guys, according to them, to go out to L.A., track down Quando Rondo, and murk him off the face of the earth in revenge for King Von's own killing. Now, if you remember the whole story going back, it was Quando Rondo and King Von that had gotten a squabble. They were fighting outside of a hookah bar in Atlanta. A lot of people who were there, you know, we know now the story to be that King Von was demon on demon time, and he seen Quando Rondo, and it was all go for him. Right, so he went over there and he started it and put hands on the man, and the man started fighting back to defend himself. But Lil Tim, who was with Quando Rondo, actually saw Quando Rondo getting beat up, and he wasn't playing that. So Lil Tim, pop, 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 fired a couple of shots, which ended up taking King Von's life, and Lil Dirk wanted revenge for that. According to the feds, Lil Dirk put the hit out. That they now have evidence that he actually did. So on the heel of Lil Durk being arrested for that situation. Quando Rondo who would have been the main target. Because they missed him when they went to go do the shooting. And they ended up killing his cousin who's called Lil Pob. They killed Lil Pob. It was deep for Quando Rondo to the point where he made countless videos after that. Saying he was traumatized. Because Lil Pop died right in front of him. This is somebody that was super close to him. He had a lot of gangsters and gang members and older, more seasoned gangsters who were saying, stop the damn crying. It comes with this shit. Niggas die every day. They kill on our side. We kill back on their side. That's the name of the game. You ten toes down in this. And if you not, the way to get put off is the same way you got put on. If you know what that means, it means... You can't come to no social media and talk about, I was Crip or I was Blood, but I'm dropping my flag now. They told Quando Rondo to go back to the same hood where he got put on to get taken off or to get put off. To get put on, we know it to be, you got to get down. Get down as in some people go commit murders, do a mission. Other people, if they're females, they got to either get ran through or they got to fight it out. Get jumped and fight back. For guys, most of the time, it's you got to squabble up. You got to fight. And you usually have like 20, 30 dudes. And they're all knocking you up all over your face and shit. Bang, bang, bing, bang. And you fighting it out, right? Breaking your nose, bust your face up. And then they'll say, all right, now get the fuck up out of here and leave our flag right where it's at. Pussy, we don't want to see you no more. It never ends good, okay? It never ends good because you took it saying that you was going to be down for life with it. The problem with that is sometimes people get older after they had joined when they were young and out of a necessity. And then you get older and you get mature and you get beyond that point And you're like, I don't want to do this anymore. But guess what? The others who have been banging, they still want to do it. And they still have loyalty to it. And they see you now as disloyal, turning your backs on them. Especially somebody like Quando Rondo, who has made it in the industry. It's very hard to make it into the rap industry, the entertainment business side of things. Very hard. A lot of people think it's easy. You just go to the studio, get a couple of beats, write some songs on it. Do your nice sounding songs and boom, you're on the charts. It does not work that way. For some reason, there's a lot of people out here who can rap. A lot of people out here who sound good. A lot of people out here who could probably rock a show if they're given a chance to. But they're just not let into the industry. Quando Rondo is one of them that has been lucky enough to make it into the industry and has all eyes on him. When we say that, we mean there's a machine behind him and there are all eyes on him within the industry. So he's made it in. And now he's having a change of heart again. So the story goes like this. Quando Rondo put a message out. First of all, Lord Dirk's recent arrest for his, his alleged involvement in Quando Rondo's attempted murder, which happened back in 2022, 
that's creating headlines all over the place. The rapper was reportedly leaving for Italy on Friday, October 25th, when the authorities took him into custody. They said that Lil Durk was not leaving, leaving. He was running away because he also booked two other flights, one at the Fort Lauderdale International Airport, one at the Miami International Airport, and then he was headed out on a private jet as well so he was trying to throw them off his trail while he jumps on a jet and head up out of here to italy and then he would have probably went to other places that have no extradition treaty with the united states of america which it didn't work out for him the feds were on his ass and they caught him now in the hit they missed their target and they ended up hitting a little pop in the grand scheme of things, Quando Rondo just released some music. Now, while Lil Durk was being charged for that, Quando Rondo released a new song just a couple of hours after Lil Durk was charged. It's like he had this music on go, ready, just in case anything, so he could put it out there. They released the music. It's called Life Goes On. The single came out. A day after Dirk's arrest and Quando Rondo announced the same message through his Instagram page on the 27th of October 2024. Today is the 28th. I'm putting this video up. Quando Rondo added a statement on top of a photo which featured the cover image of the song. The photo itself looked kind of demonic to me. I don't know. Um, he's a crip. It's the, the photo look all blooded out. You know, kind of remind me of when DMX did that blood in, blood out video shoot slash picture where he was in a bathtub somewhere and it was bloody everywhere. He was like swimming in blood, bathing in blood. Same thing for Quando Rondo with this picture that he put out with this dim lights, red, bloody looking, all that. I don't know. That's just the feeling I get about it. Anyways, the message, though, was positive. He said... We didn't get into this music industry to make it just to say, stay caught up in these streets or in the street shit. We all have families and communities that are counting on us. And it's time to leave all that behind. That's the message that, you know, it sounds good. We didn't get into this industry to make it just to stay caught up in th this street shit. We all have families and communities counting on us, and it's time to leave all this behind. I get it. I understand. I said earlier in my other video, my previous video, that Quando Rondo had actually turned to Islam, and also so had Lil Durk. Lil Durk had turned to Islam as well. Lil Durk's father did a whole lot of time in prison, and he came home. He was a Muslim, and I don't know if he had always been one, but I just know that. I did see him being one when he came home. Lil Durk himself also uh, converted to Islam as well. So there are people, imams and others, leaders in that faction who are saying, you know, these guys need to put this stuff behind them because Muslim brothers don't go around killing each other. Well, I don't know about all that because when blood is spilt in the streets, it's a whole different story. And although Quando Rondo might be getting mature, I just seen him do a video where he said, if you slap me in my face, y'all know how he talks, right? He kind of talks slow, like a drawl, southern drawl to it. But he also, some people say he talks slow like he really ain't got no sense. Like he's slow, intellectually slow, challenged. But he's not. His message was deep. He said, if you slap me in my face, I'm not going to kill you. I'm not going to kill you because 15 years, I kill you, you die, I go to prison. 15 years down the road when I'm still in prison serving my life sentence, the people who thought it was cool when I crashed out and killed you because you slapped me, they're going to be out here free in the world and they're going to mature from that point. And then they're gonna, their views are going to change of me. And they're going to look at me like, damn, he threw his life away. He crashed out just because dude slapped him in the face. And it's a hard pill to swallow, taking a slap in the face. But you got to think about the consequences. That right there is super deep. Because the average person will tell you, you put your hands on me, I'm fucking killing you. Right? But for him to say, 
you slap me in the face, you know, whether it's slap me in the face by saying bad things about me or slap me in the face as in it was just a slap and then you walked away. I'm not taking your life for that because the court system is not going to justify me taking your life for that and they're going to give me life. You know, a lot of people need to hear that message because when you crash out and you say, fuck it, I'm taking this life sentence, bop, 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 and you do what you have to do or what you thought you had to do, that day, you 20 years old, you 23 years old, and they just gave you 60 years in prison at 23. You'll be 83 years old before you get out, right? That's your projected release time. You're about to go crazy in that cage, first of all. Second of all, 20 years into that 60-year sentence, you have became a whole different person. You're now 43 years old. There's not one 43-year-old on the face of this earth that's the same as he was when he was 23 years old. 40 years into that sentence, you still got 20 years to go. And then you already be 63 years old. Ain't a friggin' 63-year-old on the face of this earth that's the same as they were when they were 20s or 30s or 40s or 50s. So essentially, you really did throw your life away. You know what I mean? It's kind of hard, but it's deep. Now, pause. We didn't get into this industry to take it, uh, to make it just to stay caught up in the street shit. We all have families and communities counting on us, and it's time to leave all that behind. Well, I wish Quando Rondo all the best. I love the message because it's positive, but I would be paranoid if I was his enemy. The reason being is because he has people around him who will still push that agenda beef. You know what I mean? They will still push the beef agenda. They will still push the revenge agenda. They will still push the street credibility agenda. So if you talking about killing motherfuckers in your music still, and then you expect me to believe that you just want to do that, and you don't want to still get down the way you used to get down before, I'm sorry, I, I'm not buying it. Because there's people out here that will lull you to sleep and then kill you in your sleep. There's people out here that will tell you it's all peace, it's all good. We don't have no problem, fam. I'm off that. Let's mature. Let's move forward. And the first chance they get, they'll wipe you off the face of the earth. So it's going to come down to not just him, but the other side. And how the other side feels about what he got to say about this whole peace and unity stuff. Granted... This is a big step for him moving forward because, you know, this hip hop rap generation, they love to boost the rappers up, put a battery in their back and send them off like the Duracell bunny. Just go, 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 go. And then when they end up in prison, they're the same people who call themselves fans that watch these brothers destroy themselves and then make fun of them for destroying themselves after they encouraged them to destroy themselves. In Dirk's case, it was a lot of people on social media. I know Dirk must have felt the pressure. A lot of people on social media kept saying, Dirk's a pussy. You up here rapping and doing shows and making a lot of money. We don't want to see your money. You didn't even ride for King Vaughn. King Vaughn was loyal to you. You didn't even ride for King Vaughn. You know, your street credibility leans up against your music sales you know what i mean if they start to think that you just a faker you're not really into that life you ain't really about it like you say you are people will stop supporting you because believe it or not there's a group of people out there in this world who live vicariously through these artists all these people on social media typing these messages they're not really out here killing nobody they encourage these rappers to kill but they're not doing it themselves Right. I mean, what do you think happens to a rapper who decides he wants to kill people or order people to be killed with his rap money? He ends up where prisoners go prison. Right. Probably even end up there for the rest of his life. So when these people call themselves fans, you can't be a real fan of somebody if you don't want to see that person live. If you don't want to see that person grow, if you don't want to see that person gain wealth fame be famous become influential get mature you grow with that person so you can look back like back in the day we could still look back at the rappers from way back in the 
Big Daddy Kane era, way back in the Busta Rhymes era, all the way up. Busta is still current, still going, still doing it like he just started it, bigger than ever before. These kind of things. You don't want to see Bust your today artists grow into an icon. Y'all just want them all to just crash out over beefs and die and go to prison. And then a new wave of rappers come in and keep on doing the same shit on repeat. Man, listen. End of the day, it's up to them, right? If Quando Rondo decides that this is what he wants to do from here on out, then he obviously can't be a running around um, throwing up gang signs and acting like he's a rider and he's still riding and all that. He he got to he's gonna have to get out. He's gonna have to start moving with security. He's gonna have to go into the house, stay inside, kind of thing. You can't be outside no more. Acting like you from outside and you always outside for real. you just going to have to act a whole different way. And then those around him is going to have to understand that he's not with that shit no more. But when you've lived a certain way before, you might want to change. That don't mean your enemies from before don't want revenge still. Which means he better still be careful. Leave your comments in the comments section below. Tell me what you think about this one. Do you think it's a good move for Quando Rondo to be calling for forgiveness and telling, saying he forgives everybody? Or do you think he should just stay with it and just keep on doing what he do as in getting to the money, rap money, and stay in beef, street beefs, and all that other stuff? Also, do you think that his enemies are going to forgive him and say, nah, we ain't doing nothing to him, he good. Or do you think there's still an open hit out on him regardless? I'll catch you in the comment section. You already know it's Hot Topics TV slash Brain Flow TV. And when a topic is hot, we're on it. I'm out. Peace.